Hello, everyone. How are you? Happy Thursday to you. Listen, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, that means that we are one day away from Friday. Every day is worth celebrating, so we're not even going to wait till tomorrow to celebrate. We're going to celebrate right now. I want to know how you're doing, though. Mm -hmm. I want to know how are you doing with releasing yourself from the pressure of perfection? Because we know that it only leaves us stagnated. It only leaves us just disappointed overall with ourselves and with other people because it is an unrealistic expectation. So how's it been going? If you are saying to yourself, Latanya, girl, I am, I am missing the mark on this whole perfection thing. I am still holding myself to such a strict standard. <clears throat> and because I hold myself to that standard, I'm still holding other people to it because I don't quite know how to shake it off. I don't quite know how to do anything other than what I've been accustomed to doing. Come close. Hello there. Um, if that's you, I want to let you know that there's still some grace for you, okay? Every week I talk about grace because it's important for us to tap into that for ourselves and for the people around us. So give yourself a bit of a break because it's hard to change something that you have made up in your mind or that you've been socialized or raised or whatever into doing all of these years. So it's going to take more than just this video. So it's okay. Now, the second thing that I want you to do is I want you to think about it. I want you to think about how holding yourself and other people to a standard of perfection, how does it impact your life? What are the consequences, good or bad? What are the things that you could do with your time if you weren't doing the same thing over and over and over again trying to achieve this level of perfection what are some of the things that you've missed out on because you've stalled the process you can't move forward because this line has to be drawn just so or this person has to say it just like this in order for me to receive it what are you missing out on How's it serving you, in other words? <clears throat> I think that if you're able to really reflect and get answers to those questions, that will help you in uh, removing that standard away from your belief system. Because the truth is, and you know intuitively, those people who are around you who get hit the hardest because it's got to be perfect. We don't even achieve our highest potential. Perfect is boring anyway, right? There's some beauty in imperfection. There's some beauty in not coloring exactly in the lines or there's some beauty in just simply letting things be. When we look at leaves of flowers and, and trees and um, they're not all exactly the same length or the same color or the same shape or like there's some nuances within it that make it not exactly perfect and that's where your beauty lies too your beauty lies in your imperfection so i want you to tap into that and know that you are more than enough just as you are you ready let's finish up really really strong we're going to have an amazing rest of our week and a great weekend why because we have been released from perfection and we're going to celebrate our imperfection. I'll talk to you soon. Remember, I'm cheering for you, okay?